so it's good job, man. Um, out here walking the streets of New Orleans, man. Uh, not an early morning grind, but a little, you know what I'm saying? Morning grind. It's not early, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we around um, 9.30 here, uh, New Orleans time. You know, I know it's a little bit later on the East Coast, man, but, you know, I'm here rocking with y'all right now, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, man. Today, I want to get into uh, a little bit of the football news, you know what I'm saying? We've been heavy on basketball, whatever, but I want to get into a little bit of football news, man. Um, first things first, man, Aaron Rodgers, man, finally, uh, Trey finally got finalized for the Jets, man. They swap first round picks. The Jets get number 15, Packers get number 13. Um, and then they get another second round pick from the Jets this year. And then a conditional second round pick um, for the Jets next year um, that could turn into a first round. They're depending on if um, Rodgers plays, uh, uh, I think 65% of the snaps, something like that. But um, anyway, um, they just needed this move to happen, um, especially before the draft. So, um, kudos to the Jets, man. Um, whether it works out in the long term or not, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Although, I ain't going to hold you, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man. So, that's what uh, the Jets is news is right now. Um, I do think that, uh, that the Jets should be contenders in the AFC um, with Aaron Rodgers, man, given the roster that they got, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Big fan of Garrett Wilson, uh, Brees Hall, um, Sauce Gardner, um, and the whole draft class uh, last year. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We'll see what Rob Sala could put together, man. Um, still got the Buffalo Bills, still got the Miami Dolphins, and the Patriots just don't seem to want to go anywhere. So it's not like this a slam dunk home run for the Jets. But at the same time, they needed to make this move, so kudos to them. Now, news on the Giants front. Um, the Giants signed Sean Robinson, um, defensive tackle, uh, formerly of the Rams. And um, look, man, this is a move to try to solidify our run defense. You know what I mean? So if Sean Robinson can do anything, I think his run stop rate was like, a ridiculous number, man. Um, I think they said the Giants didn't have a, a a player like that since Snack Harrison. Y'all remember Snacks Harrison, right? You know what I'm saying? Damon Harrison um, had played for us a while back, man. So we needed this guy, man. You know what I'm saying? We need a plug in the middle um, that can really hold down this defense, man, because we were getting ran on, you know what I'm saying? Especially uh, in that Philadelphia uh, Eagles series. So, um, we, we definitely want to um, strengthen up the run defense, and I think that this this guy right here is going to do it. So, now, that being said, man, like I said, just a little quick nugget, man. We walking out here um, to the streets of New Orleans, man, on the road to the NFL draft. Thursday, like I said, I will be there in the building, you know what I'm saying, along with other members of the Big Blue Crew, man. So, keep it locked here, man to your boy on Popular Opinion Sports, man, for the best coverage on the market, on the planet, man. We doing big things over here, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people don't get to get out and actually experience uh, um, some of the things live and in person, so that's what we're trying to give you, you know what I'm saying, Our, an authentic feel here with everything that's going on, man, but... Appreciate y'all walking and talking with me today, man. But shit, it's time for me to get some food, man. So I'm about to peace out on y'all, man. But uh, till next time, man. Tonight, definitely Tuesday night, heart of the city. You already know what it is, man. Um, we're gonna have a live ass show tonight, so do not miss it. All right, all right, peace.